Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are safe and sound. So today we will learn how to represent fractions on number line. So let us see. Already we have learned to represent the whole numbers and the integers on number line. In the whole number number line we are using 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And in integers we use 0 with the positive numbers and the negative integers. But now the question arises how to represent a fraction on number line. So let us see. As we all know what is a fraction? Fraction is a like number of part we have and total number of equal parts. We represent fraction like this. Suppose I have a chocolate or I have a cake and I want to distribute that cake in three persons equally. So each person will get one part out of three. So this is the fraction one part out of three. So how to write down that one upon three. Now let's see how to show three upon four on a number line. First of all we need to draw a number line from zero and one. Now you must be thinking why we have marked zero and one here because let us see one more time the number line. Let us see on the number line of the whole numbers. In whole number suppose I will write down if I have to represent 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is something which is more than 0 and less than 1 of course because it is half. So half will be here somewhere in between of 0 to 1. So that's why we are just magnifying this thing. We are magnifying this thing 0 and 1. Magnifying means we are enlarging it to show the fraction 3 by 4 between them. So let us see again. So here I have the number line in which I have marked 0 and 1. I have enlarged it or I have magnified it. Now next step would be children. As we have 4 as the denominator. Yes. 4 is the denominator so we will divide this whole number line into 4 equal parts. So here we have part 1, part 2, part 3 and part 4. There are 4 equal parts which I have divided. So the first part, first part will be called as 1 by 4, second part will be called as 2 by 4 and third part will be called as 3 by 4 so here we have so our answer is 3 by 4 so this is the required answer this one 3 by 4 so if somebody says where is 3 by 4 3 by 4 is here now next let us see the next example now how to show 4 by 7 on the number line again I am drawing a number line like this and here I'll consider this point as 0 and this point as 1 yes this point as 0 and this point as 1 now we will divide this whole number line into 7 equal parts as we have 7 is the denominator so I have divided it into 7 equal parts this is part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 part 5 part 6 and part 7 now you are right, yes, we will write down these numbers as 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7. What about this children? What about this? 1, it will be 7 upon 7 and if we divide 7 by 7, we will get 1. That's why I have written here 1. So now, where is 4 by 7? Yes, you are right, 4 by 7 is here. So this is the representation of integers. Sorry, representation of fractions on the number line. So this is here we have 4 by 7. This is the point which is known as 4 by 7. I hope children you have understood how to represent the fractions on the number line. Now you are required to do the given assignment. Stay, stay tuned. Bye bye. Thank you.